a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the cycle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables he spoke the word to them, as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. that we bear fruit, that we live from his gift, 
and his love. Our part is not so important. The important part is the, the, the part of the seed and the declaration of the gospel said in a very explicit way. The seed is the word of God. It's so powerful in you and that can transform your attitudes, your thoughts, uh, your capacities. And the, mm, the Lord definition said, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Amen. It's an action of Jesus Christ. And our part is to be very grateful for that action. Like is uh, um, written in the psalm, we have repeated, Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. Because when we give thanks with our praises, we are recognizing the strong action of God in our lives. And uh, uh, we have been created capable of receiving God's gift. There is no soul, no heart that cannot receive God's gift and be reached by His grace. From this perspective, no one is lost or forgotten. You are not lost. You are not forgotten. Also, if sometimes you uh, experience that, you experience difficulties, the love of God through His Word is working in you and is bearing fruit. For this uh, reason, life, despite countless trials, can be made sweet and light by the benevolent grace of God, who trusts in what He has sown in you. And in you there are so many good things. It is uh, mm, that uh, God wants to assure that tomorrow will always be marked by His love, by this seed that was planted in you through the baptism. It is the certainty that the future cannot be compromised by our past, our limitations, our uh, sins, our mistakes, but something new made by God for its weight. It does not matter what we have been in the past. Tomorrow is not marked by punishment, but by the promise of the blessing of God. That's wonderful. And uh, St. Paul in the second reading said, that for this reason, we, uh, we walk in faith because the Christian see the world in a different way because they have this assurance that the love of God will be present with his word to work and to give us to bear fruit. This is the kingdom of God, boundless benevolence, an action that goes beyond our own cooperation and consciousness. And this is precisely the true novelty brought by Jesus, the true religious revolution, free and abundant mercy for all, forever. And, uh, and God does everything to make our lives blessed. Therefore, let, a, let us align ourselves with God's gift by learning the language of praise, the language of gratitude. Uh, and also, we have to open uh, ourselves with courage for the future. Because if the gift of God is in us, we can do marvelous things. We can, again, if you go in Italy this time, in special way in the center or in the south of Italy, you can see these wonderful uh, fields 
of grain and are like gold. And it seems a, a true celebration of the grace of God. You, when you see these uh, uh, fields of grain, you can see, you can say, we will have uh, bread tomorrow, and you are filled with uh, hope. And uh, so you can have the courage to act because you know that tomorrow will be bread, and you can work to have uh, the fields called by gold for tomorrow. You have the capacity to work for the kingdom of God, for this beautiful kingdom where uh, everyone can be blessed. So let us live today with gratitude and joyful trust, without worrying about the past or the future, because God will always be with us. Gratitude and joy are the response to the parables of the seed. A gratitude and joy that are nourished by the passing of time. A time that it is your friend. God will help you in time, little by little. He will help you to trust in his loving faithful, in his action in the action of your brothers and sisters that surround us. And we will see again the kingdom of God uh, grow and uh, be a beautiful place where we can be gathered together.